Come here. What else do you know of the Basque? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. Lovely. Now you can open that gate without that ogre hurling detritus at us. He was behind it. Gotcha. Nice. Now I forgot to do this. Ah. Mimir. Whoa, it worked. Look. Whoa. It gave us a gift in return. Mm. Oh, wow. That equipment will prove useful. And crystal shards. I bet we'll get a reward for any we return to the pond. That's handy. Good thing we collected all those crystals in the first place, eh? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I've collected a lot, so... Petrified back. Oh, I think I needed that. <laughs> Sick. Have to go back to Rad Tosca to get that stag. <clears throat> For now, back to getting that dragon. So, lad, uh, it's true who you meant when you asked about Viking. True? No. I mean, I wasn't asking about anyone specific. And, well, Skilder likes through. But she's only interested in becoming a Valkyrie. She's focused, you know? Oh, very well, lad. Very well. Just hope you know if you ever need to review anything we've discussed. <laughs> I know. It's good. I'm fine. Huh. Go! <laughs> 
Dragon up there. Oh, yeah, he is. Okay. Come back to him. Ah, a hunter lives here. A careless one. How's that? We found its home. Okay, let's go and get the altar going. Son, please, help reunite me with my son in Folkfanger. We're gonna help him, right? What is the last thing you saw, Spirit? Statues. Two of them. Dragons facing away from each other. Separated like my sons. This toy. It will bring me back to him. Okay. This story is like many in this valley. Separated from someone they love by death. We gotta get him back to his son. Agreed. You do? Oh, I assumed you'd say something like, reuniting the dead is pointless. Not this time. Okay. <laughs> get that chest. If we keep going this way, I believe we'll reach that air dragon's lair. Yes. <gasps> yeah. Just making sure you know where you're going. Thank you. Ah, that's why he's blocked. Got it. out for any runic stuff as well. Alright, let's get climbing. Pass open. That dragon is shaking in its scaly boots, I suspect. As long as it doesn't Once we approach the, the crap dragon, out of we will kill or be killed. Understood. Yes, father. Okay. 
this. Come on! Focus up! No! Ogre's not getting up anytime soon, either. I can hear the animals. They're relieved. Maybe they'll come out of hiding. That's say we put something of a dent in the dragon population of this crater. I can already hear the difference. The prey animals. They're a lot less scared. Look <sighs> for that. That was a hell of a fight. See, we can't find that last <coughs> sigil we need for the runic chest. Aha! Give me an apple or a horn. Apple. Sweet. Right, see if we can't do any more side quests while we're here. Mimir. Odin's mask. How do you hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night. Entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems, and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. Mask probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, 
Probably. So, brothers, how did you manage to kill Garm anyway? We killed him a few times, actually, but it didn't take. And I figured maybe the way to stop a soulless beast was to give it a soul. So I gave it the one I had on me. I beg your pardon? Fenrir, remember the light Father saw? The accidental magic I did when Fenrir died? That was part of Fenrir's soul going into my knife. Once I figured that out, I just put Fenrir into Garm. <laughs> Clever one, lad! A gigantic hell beast with the soul of a loyal pup. What, Dave? Brilliant! <laughs> Unless my eyes deceive me, that seems to be the stag of summer. Is it hot or is it just my sizzling personality? Nah, it's you, stag. Can we go already? Ah. Damn plant. <laughs> so that's how to go there, okay. So you've actually found three of those stags now. Oh I think at, re at some point we really need to go talk to uh, Rag Tosk here because we found three of the buggers already. <laughs> So this is where those tracks lay. Oh. There another beast like the one before. The Drake fed here. The creatures here aren't that big. Oh. Drake must have been constantly eating to survive out here. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Ah, some sort of cage. So it would seem. Lore the Drake. Amir, did you know Garm? I was he locked up to begin with. Ah, Hell's Feral Sentinel. Well, believe it or not, Midgard was once bigger. Until Garn, then just a wee pup, got peckish. He ate Midgard? Only a few mountain ranges. And the fifth season that comes after winter but before spring. And the word for the feeling when you get so hungry, you stop being hungry. You're messing with me. I would never. Yeah, drink, 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 drink. Find you, watch out! That's it, follow me. Kill it, Chris. Return to the dragon's den. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's kill kill ourselves a dragon. Holy crap, he's massive. Oh no, that's not oh, dragon race. How about this out? What? Oh! <laughs> 
taking down about half the dragons in this crater as well. Huh. I can hear the birds. They're rooting for us. That's nice. Let's hope we have an easier time with the dragon that's got Bjerga pinned down. Yeah. I think we've got a bunch of other side quests to do as well. Tris. I saw a duel in the game too. After we forged the spear, Odin appeared. He had Durlin with him. Threatening him, as if he knew I would know him. But if Odin knew all along, then while we were pretending not to know each other, he was pretending not to see through us. Man, he really is a good liar. Huh. Now that I've spent time in Asgard, it's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother. Not the Sif I knew. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or, just as brutally, raising those boys. What do you mean? We're back at the plains. It's a lot nicer with the water flowing again. Ah, what's this? Is this a need hog thing? Go down! Oh, my God. 
one left. <laughs> Incredibly impressed with myself that I managed to not to actually fucking do that. Oh my god! Wow! Ah. You get a skull next to his name, aka you don't fight them. So, Mimir, how did they capture Garm in the first place? That was tears doing. He lured the beast somewhere safe and kept it distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once the chains were on and the gate to Elheim was opened, Garm bit Tyr's arm clean off in retribution. But Tyr's not missing an arm. Well, it grew back, eventually. He is a very resourceful god, after all. Huh. I smell blood. We are near a feeding ground. Ah, well. Best not go in unless you're ready for a fight, then. That crystal could use a dip in the pond, don't you think? Yeah. Pull the way around.
Nice. You know, I really miss the nice dragons from Midgard. <laughs> Think we should go check on the Raven Tree now? to drink another day. Well, in Folkweimer at least. Now I can meet my friend and make amends. You owe us a story first. I remember walking into a meat hall and Thor was there. Do you know why he was there? There were whispers that he was looking for a Vanir military outpost. I, I didn't want any trouble, so I got out quick. That's the last I saw of him, but maybe there are others who saw more. Okay. I wonder if Thor was meeting someone at the meat hall. Whoa. You think Thor was meeting Mom there? Faye never drank with me, and she would not have with him. Sometimes we never really know the ones we love, brother. <laughs> True. First, can I go in here? Yes. <laughs> that crystal could use a dip in the pond, don't you think? You've got a few crystals. Why not pay the pool a visit? Yeah, I will. Dragon's here! <laughs> Watch your left! He's trapped. It's calling more wind! No! <laughs> <laughs> Sign we're on the right trail. We're getting close. I remember last time it looked just like a pile of rocks at first. Okay, that was over there. Valley can flourish again. I'm sure Andvari would be happy we killed another one at least. Andvari, the dwarf who put his soul into a ring. That's right. He created the soul eaters. Whatever happened to the annoying bugger anyway? I lent him to Sindri and he said he lost it. Uh -huh. Lost it. Dragon incoming! Oh, no. Oh, God. Above you! Watch out! Damn thing. 
get that bird. Watch out! Dragon! It's leaving! Nice. Okay, so... Over here. I wish this one were like the dragons in Midgard. They were nice. They were also intelligent dwarves who had been transformed into dragons. Still. No point. Press this is. So much to do with this area. Got him cornered. Something else for the cleansing pond, eh? Right, it's just a. I see. Got it. I'm back. Don't mind me. I know you don't want me around. I did not say that. You don't need to. The boss sends me out the most often, and I know why. I'm unbearable. That's why you hate me. You are not my enemy. You are irrelevant. A stranger. So, you don't despise me? I do not feel one way or the other. That's honestly 
kind of a relief. I mean, yeah, you're a stranger to me too. Why should I care what you think? Now you understand. Fantastic, Master Kratos. I'm glad to know we do not care about each other. Get bent! <laughs> I don't know if that was necessarily the best lesson, but uh, what do I know? Ah. <gasps> you I heard, Burb. Right. Because that was a pretty good pig fall. Over here. Oh, many thanks. No, thank you. You saved us back on the boat. Right, Father? It was foolish. And appreciated. There's a mystic gateway nearby. But I have no stone for it. We do. I can't believe you survived that fall. How'd you do it? I rolled. <laughs> Talk later. <gasps> A Dark Souls reference. A stag of winter. It looks hungry. Come on already. Just come back with me. I don't care how hungry you are. Huh. I have no need for this. Maybe I'll see you back at the camp. And under different circumstances, one hopes. Hi. Well, with Birger safe, we can get out of here. Or explore some more, if you wanna. deal with Odin's ravens. They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. Hmm. Ah, oh, what? Out the!
He dropped something, brother. Jotunheim. Odin was using the travelers to find a path into Jotunheim. They failed. Thankfully. But it seems they traipsed across all of creation in the attempt. Still, I suppose that's all of the assassins. <laughs> oh, I gotta remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Hate these damn plans. No, we have not been here. Stay alert. Say they are close. We gotta stop their dark magic. Furrier Pua. Great. Now we can move the sun and moon. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Okay. <laughs> I want to get out there somehow. Ah. Right, got it. Still have stuff to do. about to explode! You there, Howard? Okay. What do you want, spirit? I was... a scroll. There was... a message I must deliver. The ace here. And Thor, I, I must remember. The message must be delivered. It was important. My commander is waiting on my word. He's been waiting a while, then. Tell us, what is the last thing you remember? I was seeing red. With anger. At the Aesir. And there were these... red trees. Please, help me regain my memory. Then I can tell you what I know of that day. Okay. Thor was looking for a fight with the Vanir military. Were the Vanir fighting the Aesir in this valley? Aye. A battle the Vanir would eventually lose. But what does the frozen lightning have to do with this conflict? There's only one way to find out, brother. We keep looking. Exactly. <laughs> Means we can keep on looting. <laughs> Scroll spirit. And I am whole again. Now I can deliver my message. Your commander is long dead. I. Of course. Odin sent Thor to take control of the valley. But I suppose it's too late now. Don't worry. 
We're handling the Aesir. No. Tell us what you know of that day. I was at the meat hall. Thor was there. He had a strange drinking companion. Some sort of creature, the likes of which I had never seen. It had this barrel of mead that seemed to never go empty. What were they doing? Getting blind drunk from the looks of it. They were passing drinks around, reveling. Everyone had a tipple too many, but Thor, he was by far the drunkest of anyone there that day. Huh. Mumir, what do you make of this? Thor has always loved a strong drink with questionable company. But I've never heard any word of his creature companion. This isn't a lot to go on, I'm afraid. Well, we know one thing. Thor was totally drunk when the valley was destroyed. Yes, 100%. Say no more. There is still much we do not know. And whether your mother was involved remains unclear. Mimir, I'm not sure to ask this. There's stories Odin told me, like how he lost his eye, where the details are different from stories you've told me. And I trust you, of course, but they don't seem like things you'd have a reason to lie about either. One thing to remember about liars, lad. Lie. They lie. They do it on principle. No issue too big or too small. They lie about anything they can get away with and some things that they can't just to demonstrate their power over reality. You must always bear that in mind. Namir. We were talking about how Thor and Sif raised Magni and Modi, and you said they raised them brutally. What does that mean? Oh, little brother. I know you didn't have an easy childhood, but you can't fathom how much worse it can get. Imagine learning discipline by having it thrashed into you time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on him. Poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance, leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him, but I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. And we'll just stop there for now. Ah. Amir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into his Wait a moment. Hostilities demand our force. Watch out! <laughs> 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 They feel more at ease as they're dying. Kinda creepy. Yeah, that's a bit creepy. But we finally got up here.
Chess. And there we go. Brock's riddle. Could the answer be nothing? What gets bigger the more you take away? Nothing. Uh, I don't think so, brother. Hmm. I do not like riddles. Lad, I've been trying to envision how Thor and Sif came to be such better parents to Thrud than they were to Magni and Modi. Here's how I imagine it. Sif goes straight and hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi that night he found us. Oh, that's a death guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them. Truly. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Another gift for the pond. We're overdue for a visit to the cleansing pool, aren't we, brother? Yeah. We get so much stuff. Oh, bugger me. to worry about. Do you worry? Oh, never while you're around, old warrior of rippling muscle. Huh. Yes. I'm so glad that was the last one. Ooh. All right, let's grab three legendary weapons. You have a favorite father? No. They are tools for specific tasks. A preference would be meaningless. I like the axe. I too like the axe. Huh. Okay. 
Wait over here! What do you remember of the day you died? Everything is hazy. I remember I was nervous. This brooch. I plan to propose to my beloved. Please, I beg you. Restore me. Restore my memory. Then I can tell you. Tell you all I know of that day. Your remains. Where are they? I was looking out upon the valley. Then the ground. I tried to dodge a pillar as it collapsed. I must not have made it. Another spirit displaced by the Aesir. Odin must have been really mad when Freya left him to do all this. Odin was never going to stop. That's why he sent Look, Thor. Another witch. Eating that wildebeest. <laughs> oh, God. Doesn't look like we can kill it. Maybe we can burn it instead. There. And in pain. Not anymore. Aye. Better that it had some relief in its final moments. Look, the wisps are locked in the spring. Something must be keeping them in there, right? Hmm. That spring. I can hear something inside it. Something angry. And trapped. Why trap the wisps? I can hear them yelling. They say they want to be whole. I guess these springs are a way of keeping them separate. Another hungry wisp. Poor gazelle. Oh. What's that? You're welcome. He was nice. That's all the wisps contained. Should we check out that weird plate again? Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot about the runic chest. Great! The runes are all lit, the wisps are back in their springs, and the plate's keeping them imprisoned. We did it! How about that? They must have combined! You gotta take it down, Father!
taken care of, but I don't understand how they escaped and formed that thing. Chains only hold for so long. Eventually, those who wear them will break free, one way or another. You can say that again, brother. Oh. <laughs> What's that? It's a little slow. <laughs> Sweet. We can't let you just do it from here. No. There we go. There we Huntresses claim to worship Skadi, but they kill just to kill. We would have never wanted that. No. 
There is purpose here, even if we do not see it. Oh, I see him over there. Ah, I see. Okay. First. Let's go. Okay, so he's a red skull dude, so... Uh... I'll leave him there for now. Another gift for the pond. We're way overdue for a visit to the cleansing pool, aren't we, brother? and Summer were here too. Another ingredient around here, brother. Oh, did that just fall in? <laughs> Mamir, tell me more of Yari. After leaving his family, he wandered the realms in search of something unnameable. But in all his wondrous travels, nothing satisfied him. Until he met another wanderer in search of something similar. Unnameable. He was called Soma. Let us find the final ingredient. Nice. Looks like we can land over there on that beach. <gasps> up there! It's back! We'll find the way up. If it wasn't for that, dude. Here is 
use your hourglass. Thank you. you. Now I can leave for Volkvanger. A question first, brother. You wanted to make this valley your home. What stopped you? I remember this valley. It was on the brink of devastation when I found it. Was it a crater like you see now? No, but the town was in shambles. Shattered glass, broken buildings. There was no hope to be made here. Did you see what caused the destruction? Yes. I remember now. On the day the valley was destroyed, Thor was swinging his hammer wildly through town. Everyone was terrified. Then, a fair-haired warrior stepped in his path, and a fight began. She was a brave woman. This fair-haired warrior must have been Faye, brother. Yeah. Mom, let up the Thor. I'm not sure if Faye had bravery or bravado. Not many live to tell the tale of a fight with Thor. Faye never spoke of fighting him. Everyone has secrets. We do not know for certain this was Faye. Aye. There is only one way to find out, brother. I'm guessing it's a runic chest nearby. He's back for more! Is this a game to her? I know who this huntress is, brother. The Aesir called up the Untamed Fury. Why'd they call her that? Vanya refugees, families, hid in this jungle to escape the Aesir. In her yard, search, but it was the Untamed. Nice. The Fury who found them, picking them off night after night until they were all dead. Ray chose the wrong jungle, and her retreat is strategic. Yeah, and also mildly annoying. Dragon's here! Prepare yourself! Incoming! They're oh. on fire, Zetron! Give him fire! Can't do 
anything while he's on that pillar. I mind to write a poem about you. Do not. The animals. I can hear them. They said I was the last of the dragons. You did it. We did it. Sure did, huh? Oh, the owl. Namir, when I was in Asgard, I saw Odin do something to some new Einherjörn. Seem kind of mindless until he cast a spell that restored their identity. Aye, that was his habit, even when they were confined to Valhalla. I think letting them remember themselves was another small way of cheating death any way he could. Though I wouldn't be surprised if with that small gift of autonomy, he also embeds an undying personal loyalty to himself. Let's we'll see if I can. Because I have a feeling the hunter plays me always hers. So I got the sense Vanaheim wasn't supposed to be so human. Was that the effect of Fimble Winter there? To a great extent, it seems. So Midgard had endless night and cold. Svartalfheim had earthquakes. Alfheim had the light randomly pulsing. But Asgard didn't seem to be having any effects at all. Odin had a long time to prepare. No change I noticed in Helheim or Muspelheim either. Now that I think of it, the more primordial realms might be less susceptible. How do you suppose Jotunheim is faring? Uh, how would I know? Just training your powers of speculation. I don't know. If nobody's there to see, does it even matter? <gasps> mm. Yeah, I mean, come back to that. All good to go. Go back to Sindri's house and get some upgrades going. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. Blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. 
Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Hmm. Oh, this point. Hey, you lot! The box will take a fair word with you, if you so care. Oh, good, you're here. Not a moment too soon. Here's what I found. What a rambunctious bunch. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the rounds. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any <laughs> horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilance asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I have ah. no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? No now, more. Any luck finding those lean worms? Okay. Are the best. You have always been the best. Hey, tell her she's the best. Oh, you're back. The heroes of the hour. I want to hear everything i mean and when you're ready i'm not giving orders here am i try to rest ingvi let the herbs work oh they work oh they they work very well because you make things better <laughs> you always have since since we were kids i find a new way to get into trouble and you find a way to make it better well that's certainly true do you know, <clears throat> do you know we used to leave Vanaheim together when we were young? Not much older than you, to be honest. Well, you know, she did the leading. I just tried to keep things fun. <laughs> Leadership, not really my strong suit, let's be honest. <laughs> really? Your group back in Vanaheim seems pretty devoted. Well... I can inspire people, I guess. And get them to see the best in themselves, you know? I don't know if that's leadership. Is it more like, um... Like a muse? Wait. Like... like a what? A muse. Father told me about that. In his homeland, they inspired all kinds of artists. What? I love that. That's a job? Well, why don't we have that? Oh, man. I could totally do that. I think they were all goddesses, though. Well, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. I I would be a natural. Oh. What were we talking about? Envy. you must rest. You understand? You must. Please, just. Stop talking. Okay, I'm sorry. But someone was gonna fill us in on what happened with Heimdall, right? Is that what's happening? Patience. Huh. Ah. Right. I've been ashamed to have left that behind. Let's go upgrade. Heimdall is dead. Good. Is it? Look, I don't know from faith, but I know Heimdall was a prize-winning taint stain with a capital stamp. 
If he was gonna hurt your boy, it's a good thing he ain't around no more. The Norns didn't quite see it that way. The opinion of them three shut-in spinsters ain't worth a goat fart in a hurricane. You did what you did. No need to fret about it. Okay. Good. Now we're ready to go. Hey. You think Sin- Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How? In all the nine realms. Did you managed to kill Heimdall. I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can't... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Choice. You are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it. But it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you, then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father. I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, you got me. And therein lies a tale. <laughs> right. Let's get going. Atreus, listen. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. Say it. All right, Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, I'll 
disintegrate. Aye, lad. Wouldn't that be? Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir. I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, here goes nothing. What the hell was that? Ben? Doing that. <laughs> oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No, sorry. This is Fenrir. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. She's uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. And where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Angraboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions. But he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you, would you take care of Finn while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Good night, boy. <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Help Odin complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? He's probably in a study. I promise you he had nothing to do with it. If he had nothing to do with it, then why isn't he here? Just because someone isn't here to defend themselves doesn't mean they're guilty. I mean, what kind of messed up logic is... Heimdall's dead. Suddenly this boy, who you won't stop hanging around, is nowhere to be seen? He's literally working with Grandfather! Oh. Oh, that puts me so much more at ease. What I'm saying is that maybe you wouldn't feel so weird about it if you said more than a cold hello to him. Forsetti's investigating, so the truth will come out soon enough. I hope it does. You'd better go. Okay. And it does nothing. Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything? Something noteworthy? I mean... You know, he did sock through pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out? 
got even? I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I had to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird. Find Thor. I'm going to Niflheim. Okay. It's you too. Yeah. Hey, Ingrid. You wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. Ruth? Sorry, um, all Father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with Grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Huh. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I haven't yet, but I will, as soon as I come back. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to get under her skin later. Thanks, Loki. Whoa. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. <laughs> Come on. They're not going to let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. Seems like it might be a bad time, so... If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but... Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. You... You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the Allfather. Quiet! He's right. You should get going. <laughs> Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with its face.
this isn't you. Thor, <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, what? No, I... Oh, come on! No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... That's enough! Oh, I missed What 
if you start it again? Right now, just put down the... <sighs> Grab his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. <sighs> 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 I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No, no, it's fine. Really. Hey, I'm strong, but you gotta help me out here. Come on, it's not that far. Right. Thor? Get up. Thirty. Uh, you are going to Niflheim with Loki, all father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... <sighs> we're here for you. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. Yeah, you fucked up. Get you a water or something? Fine. Let's make this quick. You in a hurry to get back to Asgard? Just get us to that mask piece. Try. That was hilarious. <laughs> Part of Niflheim is way different than the maze I saw a few winters ago. If you came through Tyr's temple, then yeah. The mist around Evaldi's workshop is a poison. Did you know? Was it worth it? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, but I hope you know what seeing you like that did to you. I'm not blind. Not blind. <laughs> this one is me. Where to now? Hey, why 
can we just fly over these guys straight to the mat? You think I want to carry you all that way? You're strong. I'm not your passport. <laughs> 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 looks up to you. I hope you know that. Don't need a lecture about parenting from you. Just find the thing. Mm. <gasps> looks like we gotta head through that wall. Something wanna... I need to do first. <clears throat> oh. Take your time. Now we can go. Loki, you really keep trying to... I don't even know what you're trying to do anymore, but you have no idea the kind of shit I've been doing. Right. Have giant son of a powerful god with impossibly high expectations. How could I ever know what that's like? <laughs> Neat trick. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just pointing out we're not that different. I got no interest in bonding over shared blood. <laughs> yeah. Another wall of ice. Hmm. Thor, mm -hmm. could you... Okay. I just want to add one more thing. If you can't be yourself, you also might not feel like you can follow your own path. Doesn't sound familiar to you at all? For you. <laughs> Ooh. Huh. So we've got some similar life experience. What does it matter? It seems stupid to gripe about the things we can't do. Who says we can't?
the Alpha! from Ivaldi's workshop, right? Far enough. Whoa. Damn it! Ancient! Again with the griping. Calling out a problem in the griping. It's healthy! <laughs> Bet you're glad I'm helping so much this time around. You're welcome. <laughs> I will say the sword's doing work over there. You're lucky she's helping, too. Just ahead. This will be fun. I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. So? Fun. It was. What are you going to say when you see them again? Sif and through it, I mean. If all father is pleased, it doesn't matter. Look, kid. I don't need you to solve my family problems for me. Just find the mask. Let's get out of here. Up this way. Looks like there's a path. One pathway coming up. You enjoying the freedom? Out here without father. I, uh, well, yeah, I guess. It's different from what I'm used to, in a good way. Oh, God, what's gonna happen? Looks like we gotta get up that cliff. The guy thinks we No thinking. <laughs> it's better when I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> Close. Uh, maybe. I can check. Okay, that way's where I want to go.
Thor, I, um, hope everything goes okay when you see Sif and Thud again. Well, hoping's better than thinking. It's a start. Hmm. Loki, we did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the All-Father's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? My father against me. My daughter. I have no idea what's happening. You know, I finally thought of something I can teach you. Hey! You stand now! Since we better be right. Where are you? Sindri. Ah! 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 You sure know how to plan an exit. Atreus. <sighs> Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait, why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh, thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Lemire. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense back home. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Putting off the inevitable. Exactly! It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep. Hmm. Huh. Okay. 
back, everybody. Hey, wait. You made it. I'll get to here. Join us at the table if you're ready to stay. Oh, see? I told you the key would get him home. Because you tapped it with a hammer. Dwarven magic makes no sense. Right? Lunda one time made me a breastplate out of dog barks. You're I back. I still can't figure that one out. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. You have it. What did it show you? I didn't get to use it. They found out about Heimdall. I had to run. But at least Odin can't use it either. But if you didn't get any answers from the mask, all you've done is steal Odin's greatest treasure. Just after your father's killed his most loyal ally. None of us are safe. Even here. So we have no choice. We find Surtur, sound Galahorn, and bring Odin to justice. Now. You'd incinerate every soul in Asgard and call it self-defense? Does he ever suggest plans or just crap on everyone else's? The obvious plan is staring you in the face. We don't need Odin to use this. We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves, right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. They got the big horn, don't they? Oh, so you expect them to sneak into Asgard, blowing a horn that sounds across all the realms? I expect you to bite my blue butt cheek. Please, just think about it. Okay. Now she might go back to Vanaheim. So we tend to do those, um... Stag. Find a place to think as any. Visiting the crater again? There are still a few loose ends to tie up. See, the warriors still haunt the crater. We could put them to rest. And what else? Enough. I read. So, Father's new spear. It's made out of a ring? Drop me an eye. Forged by the Hulder brothers as a gift for Odin. How's it work? Every so often. The drop near drips out identical copies of itself. Ah! The Huldra's presumably oh, figure. Prepare for a fight. She's wounded! We can end this! She's on the run again. I suspect this will lead us back to that den we came across. Maybe once we get to her den, we can finally stop her. Do you admire her? She's terrorized this land, brother. This jungle was her home. She defended it the way she knew. But if death is the only dignity we can give her, we will give it. Nice. Right, stag. Unless my eyes deceive me, that seems to be the stag of summer. Is it hot or is it just my sizzling personality? Nah, it's you, stag. Can we go already? There you go. That's right, we got more food at home. Come on! I have to say, quite a nice change of pace helping these stags get home. For a moment, I was worried we'd have to kill them. Yes. You had a plan to kill it if it had attacked, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Namir, you said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul? But not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. Oh, damn. 
Well, she fought valiantly. I'll give her that. I kinda wish we didn't have to kill her. Namir, if I hadn't accidentally put Fenrir's soul into my knife, he would have gone to the light of Alfheim when he died. Right? Aye. Whether he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folklonger. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd been cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul would have joined all the others in Alfheim. Like mothers. Yes. Like your mothers. Nice. And also right over here, we can use the pond. We got a lot of stuff. Septimus. I do not like you. I get that a lot. Two down, <laughs> halfway there. Nice. The water. It smells so fresh. Brother, we should shove the boy in. Huh? We've developed a bit of a stench, it must be said. I have not. I haven't. Right? It is natural. Father! <laughs> Father, you don't like riddles, eh? No. Oh, you just haven't heard any good ones. Here. I'm tall when I'm young, short when I'm old. What A candle. Yeah. Heard that one before? No. Oh. Well, did you like it? No. <laughs> Just one stag left. Thanks for saving the realms and all that. I'd have gotten to it myself and with more style. But thanks. Mm. You're welcome, he means to say. Nice. So leaves a one over there. Right. I'm surprised, brother. You'd think a stag would run in terror at the sight of you. Not exactly a calming presence, are you? I am always <laughs> good one. Stag of winter. It looks hungry. Come on already! Just come back with me. I don't care how hungry you are. That's all of them. Congratulations. You saved the nine realms from death by overgrowth. And you sort of saved my ass, too. Though it was really Venice's fault. That was not our aim. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> A job well done. Might as well check in with Ratatoska when we've got the time. Okay. I think I'm ready to take on that Berserker again. Let's see if I can actually get in this time. Let's go. Get 
after what they did. What's Lyra? It was a peaceful kingdom, full of artists and poets. But it fell to ruin long ago. And these berserkers were responsible. Them and their accursed King Hrolf. What little blood I have still boils at the thought. Did you live there? Let's just take this victory and move on, eh? There is no need to shoulder this burden on your own. Admittedly, you're shouldering the brunt of the work here. Let me worry about the emotional burden. Hmm. Right, let's go back to Ratatoski and see what he wants. Returned. One step closer to perfection. Incredible! The Nine Realms are no longer in horticultural danger. I cannot thank you enough. But perhaps this will suffice. Arrogant believes he has evaded punishment just because you fixed his blunder. He is sorely mistaken, of course. He will be in a remarkable amount of trouble. Once I figure out how to punish someone whose narcissism renders him involved to all forms of emotional warfare. <sighs> what else is there? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. Hmm. We're done talking. Bugger off. Right, let's get back home with the story. <laughs> 